Here is the uh, latest portable radio that I have here. It's a Texan, so a well-known brand to uh, many of us that are interested in shortwave radios. And this is the DR920C. Now this radio appealed to me uh, really on the point of its price. It was £23.45 in the UK, delivered to the UK from China. It's, uh, as you can see, a portable radio. It's got a digital readout, but it's not quite in the same league as radios like the Texan PL330. We'll see why in a moment, but I just thought I'd show you the box. Right, so this is what we've got. Radio itself. And a uh, little uh, soft carrying case thing to put it in. Very simple radio, this. Particularly when you bear in mind that most of the buttons on the front here are connected with the clock timer facility. So the radio's on at the moment because I knocked it on as I took it out of the box. I'll just switch it off. You'll see we've got the uh, time displayed here when the radio switched off. Push buttons here for the alarm, controls alarm on off set, time set, hour and minute buttons. We've got a, a sleep timer button here and a button for the uh, backlight. If I just turn one of the lights off here, I'll press the backlight button and you can see it illuminates. All right, so that's that. Um, the only other control we've got on the front, we've got a band switch. So we've got FM, medium wave, and then we have 10 shortwave bands. They're all broadcast bands. There's no single sideband included with this radio. So it's AM only on shortwave. It has um, the FM broadcast band. I think this one goes from about 76 megs up to 108. No RDS or anything like that, but Texan radios tend not to have RDS anyway. We'll just have a look at the uh, side of the radio here. Okay, got a tuning knob and a power on and off button, that's it. On the other side, I'm going to get the little wrist strap out of the way. We've got the uh, rotary volume control, we've got a headphone jack and an AC jack which I think is uh, three volts, uh, three volts in there. Okay. Rear of the radio, we've got the battery compartment here, which takes uh, two AA batteries. And we've got a little flip out uh, stand or bale, whatever you want to call it. We've got a telescopic antenna, of course, which I've got extended at the moment. And those are the controls of this radio. Now, this was, as I said, £23.45 delivered from China, so it's a bargain basement radio. It does have a um, LCD digital frequency readout, but it's an analogue radio. It's an analogue radio with a frequency counter attached to it. So it's going to tune like an analogue radio. It shouldn't chuff when we tune it, but it does have its limitations in uh, other ways. The tuning control here, is it's going to be like a dial and pulley, um, like an old-fashioned radio with a, a variable capacitor at the other end of it. And you can feel the knob, tuning knob feels a little bit different from what we're used to with the synthesized DSP radios that Texan uh, normally produces. We've also got some limitations with the band coverage of this radio. I'll just keep the volume. I'm not going to be able to pick up much at the moment in the shack here with all the lights on. So I'll turn the volume down and what we'll just run through what the actual uh, band coverage is. So if we turn the radio on, if we're on the um, FM band, bottom uh, bottom end of the broadcast FM band, 74.7 if you can see that. And at the top end, we'll have uh, just passed out, 110, 110 megahertz, okay. So that's on FM band 2. Medium wave, the top end of medium wave, we've got there 1646.5. And uh, the bottom end, so we have full coverage of the medium wave band. Bottom end there, 512.5. You'll notice this counter, um, you'll either have whole numbers of 10s or the 0.5. So in other words, that's 512, 512.5, 14.5, 15.5 and so on. There's no... Um, 
there's no zero at the end of any of these okay so we're at the bottom end let's go to short wave one bottom end of short wave one 3.715 excuse the reflections quite difficult with this little radio in fact i think we'll turn that off and let's try turning the light on 3.715 okay the bottom end and we'll scroll right up and we get 4.26 as the top end so we've got full coverage of 75 meters so here we kind of 60 meters we've got uh, top end 5.19 and uh, bottom end of the band 4.595 up to 49 meters 5.77 at the bottom end and up to the top we're on uh, 6.385 so pretty good coverage of 49 meters pretty much the whole band there 41 meters similar we're on uh, 7.85 at the top end and it goes right down she goes right down past the alameda bands and uh, bottom end is 6.935 it's good coverage of 41 meters it's got a 31 meters bottom end of 31 meters 8.94 and the top end is 9.95 9.955 so we're missing a little bit off the top end of that because there are a couple of stations i've heard on uh, 9.90 uh, wouldn't be able to get those 25 meters 12.34 at the top so that's looking good and yeah we're on 11.395 at the bottom so pretty good coverage of 25 meters 21 meters the bottom end um let's just see 13.26 bottom end top end 14.06 we're fine on that band right 19 meters i did notice a bit of an issue here 19 meters the top of 19 meters can't go any further 15.65 okay in the bottom yeah we're well past we're into 14.97 bottom end is fine the top end there we're going to miss quite a few uh, stations because there's quite a few around 15.7 15.8 megs we're not going to be able to receive on this one okay uh, 16 meters illuminate that 17.31 and um 18 point right up 18.495 so we've got all of that band uh, all the 16 meters broadcast and the 13 meters again this one looks good 22.155 at the top and um that drops right down to uh 21 115 at the bottom end so full coverage of that band that's as far as it goes there's no um 11 meter broadcast coverage but then you know to be frank there aren't really many stations up there now it's not going to make too much difference so that's a quick look at the basics of the radio um and we'll also try at some stage clipping um, an external antenna to the telescopic that will have to be a bit of a bodge job because there isn't an antenna jack and if you notice when we went through the um the connectors here but all we've got is uh, an ac and headphone connector there and there's no connectors of any sort on the other side nothing on the back so any antenna will have to be clipped to the telescopic here i think this set's going to overload fairly easily we'll see we'll see how it goes so there it is that's the texan dr920 it is fairly lightweight i have to say um compared to the pl330 it feels like it feels cheaper um but yeah we'll see it does seem feel have quite a cheap feel to it but then it was a cheap radio okay thanks for watching this first video on the dr920c from texan